In this video, I'm going to go over the different sections uh, that you find in the advanced page of the GUI for our new instrument, Cycle Create. So the first section that we have down here, this is the synth section. This is where you'll find all the parameters and controls for each of the uh, sublayers that we have here. You've got a mute and solo for each layer. You can change the sample source from this menu here. You've got a sample display, volume, pan, tune. This is coarse tune. You've got filter, ADSR, so attack, decay, sustain, and release for the filter. Below that, you have filter controls, so you have different filter types. You've got a filter cutoff, resonance, and envelope amount. You've got a distortion at the very end here, and different distortion types. We've got an amplitude ADSR, so attack, decay, sustain, and release. And then over here, you've got the playback mode, so you can choose between normal, reverse, one-shot, or reverse one-shot, a loop mode. Um, so you can choose to have it on no loop or to have it on loop, which we do. Um, if loop is on, you'll see uh, the highlighted region in the sample display. That's going to be your loop. Sample start, then we have a loop start, loop end, um, and then a crossfade of the loop and the curve. And each of the sub-layers parameters are identical uh, to one another. Um, and a quick way, if you want to adjust the attack and the release of uh, the whole playback of the whole sound um, you can do that from the quick controls down here instead of going through and individually changing them on each sub layer you can just change the attack and the release down there in the middle here we have the motion controls if you watch our simple page walkthrough this is identical to what you find on the simple page right here this is just the other placing for it so you can choose between the different cycle shapes uh, you can turn on or off cycle. You've got the cycle amount and the rate. Above that, we have kind of the master section. Uh, here you can find uh, both of the switches to the simple and advanced page, the bypass layer. You've got the polyphonic settings, volume, uh, main volume meter, octave, coarse tune, fine tune, and key follow. To the right of that, you have the low pass filter and the high pass filter. Then we have the amplitude velocity control. And then we have filter velocity control. And down here, right here, we have the unison. You can add up to eight detunable voices to the sound. And lastly, over here, we have the modulation. We have a mod wheel and an aftertouch. You can turn those on or off. You've got the amount and the destination. Now I'm going to move to the effects section. You've got plenty of different effects here. Um, you can navigate through them by these tabs up here, and you'll know if you're on the tab if, the, if to the left of the tab it is highlighted. As you can see, as I move through these, it highlights which tab I'm on. You can turn on or off the effects using these small buttons here, or you can turn them on or off from the page themselves. Moving over to the motion section, this is where you're going to find a lot of the motion control. So you have two step modulators. You can turn them on or off via these switches. You've got two envelopes. The one that just labeled envelope, this is your user envelope. And then you have a pitch. You can turn it on or off there. You have four LFOs. The two on the left are unassigned, so they have destination choices that you can choose from there. And then the two on the right are pre-assigned, so you have one on volume LFO and one on pan LFO. Now, everything except for the pan LFO is attached to this motion control knob down here. So if you have everything on and it's pulsing, maybe it's adding some movement, uh, depending on the, the destination choice there, um, you can cho choose the degree of motion it adds to the sound with this motion knob down here. Now that's going to control pretty much everything, like I said, except for the pan LFO right there. Then last we have an X and Y section. Th these are assigned to the main low pass and the main high pass. As I move this around, if you look to the main section, you can see the knobs corresponding with the uh, movement. This is just another way to uh, control the low pass and high pass filters. So that's a quick walkthrough of Cycle Create and the other 
pages and parameters that are offered in it.